Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to see the power of compounding. There are a lot of uh, videos surfacing on the internet which shows about your uh, SAPs and your uh, geometric progression of growth through them. In this video, we're going to see a real case scenario. I have my own SAP uh, statements here. We're going to see and review how they are performing and how actually SAP functions. So there's a saying online or there's a saying on the internet uh, where uh, if you say 15,000 for 15 years with an interest rate of 15%, you get your first one crore. So that's true. That really works actually. So, but what it requires is you need to be consistent on your investments and you need to make sure that like you are always invested on your stock market. You should stay put in the market. You should never exit your positions and never time your market. So uh, here I have got my uh, statement from my uh, Aditya Brilla account. So this is one of my fund which I'm having. So this is one of the mutual fund which I've started uh, during 2018. And uh, this is your pure value fund. And you could see this is the growth plan. And uh, my invested uh, amount is like 3,81,000 and the current value of that is like 732. So you could see that like the SAP graphs, whatever you see online, they always show you a, a very rosy smooth curve. But that's not how an uh, SAP functions. So the, if you happen to notice here, the very first time when I started it, uh, you could see here, I just started during the uh, uh, July of uh, 2018. But then like I was quite hesitant, should I go into the mutual fund well way or should I go into my equity way of uh, buying and selling of stocks or going into your intraday and stuff. So, but I just wanted to try out what actually SAP is and how it functions. So I just uh, went for a redemption the next month itself. But then like again, some my gut instincts told me that I should stay invested in the market. And then I again started during the September of uh, 2018. And uh, you could see that I am starting with my investment of 3000 per month. But then like I was again told by some industry experts where you need to invest on the markets uh, either in the beginning of the month or in the end of the month. So I thought I will try in both the methods. I'll start investing during the initial uh, week of the month as well as the end of the month where you've got your FNO expiry and stuff where the market are going to be really volatile and there's going to be a lot of fluctuations there in the market. So I tried investing 3000 on both the times. So you could see here that uh, I invest, uh, my journey is on like, my investment journey is like 7th of the month and 26th of the month. So every month there is an investment happening from my account. So you could hear, see here that investment journey went on, it goes on till uh, 2023, till last month, last year, 20 April, um, December, I've taken up my uh, report. So if I happen to plot all of these values into a data sheet or into an Excel chart, you'll be able to see here uh, that uh, my Excel sheet shows something like this. So I'm going to take up my uh, value here. And if you notice here that my investment for the very first month is going to be 3000 where I'm not having any returns. You could see here the units which was acquired was 51 where the NAV was 58. And the same month, by the end of the month, again, the market was like falling. And you could see here, I invested 3,000 more, where my investment went to 6,000. However, my returns were like 5,795. As the market were on a downfall, you could see here, the NAV was like 54 now. I've got like a four points reduced on my NAV. So my uh, returns were automatically reduced. But if you happen to see here, the uh, units which I acquired were more. Earlier, it was like 51 units. This time, it was 55 units. The next month, again, the market was still falling. My units acquiring increased. However, the NAV kept decreasing. So I was like, again, reluctant this time. Should I continue this or should I uh, exit my mutual fund and come out of the market? But this time I stayed to, um, I chose to stay invested in the market. So I went on with my cycle. So my investments kept increasing. You could see here, like my investment went for 18,000, 25,000. This cycle kept on increasing. But if you happen to notice there was no change in my growth, you could see here like my market was like the market was like falling and or it was like ups and downs were happening and my investment and the returns were almost the same. I've invested like 36,000 return was like 33 investment was 39 and the return was 38,000. So this journey went on until uh, if you notice here uh, till 2019, if you happen to notice the investment was like more and my returns were like really less. And then like 2019 came up and um, this was one of the phase or I would say one of the crucial phase I would say where my investment was almost about uh, 96,000 and my returns were 89,000. So I have saved almost over one and a half years now 
and I was like a bit hesitant now, should I stay invested in the market or uh, because uh, that was the time when your COVID pandemic was like uh, rising up and uh, there was a lot of volatility happening in the market and everyone told uh, like uh, get out of the market, it was like a total bloodbath on the market. The market was turning up bearish and everything was on a free fall. And you could see here um, the investments I went on again, I kept invested in the market, you could see my investment journey. and uh, the. Uh, um, units which I acquired kept on increasing. However, the NAV value kept reducing. This was the crucial phase. This is the crucial time there when uh, the uh, NAV was reduced to 31, almost like 20% or 20 points down my NAV which I acquired earlier in 2018. But still I stayed there and this was one of the most uh, um, huge units which I acquired. I got 95 units during the March of 2020. That's your peak COVID time. So I remain invested again in the market and you could see that uh, my investments went increasing and I could see that uh, post the, um, your uh, COVID, your uh, rally of market started, the bull market started. Post that you could see here like in 2021 the market were like turning up green and uh, once the vaccination was all started up, market started really catching up and it was like a bull run. The market started exploding and you could see here that my returns were like drastically increasing. So till 2020, um, October, you could see that my returns were like down. For the first time in November, I saw something uh, happening in my results. You could see that like it was 158, almost 159 was my investment. There was a 5,000 increase in my uh, growth. So when I discussed with my friends, they were like really bullying me, stating that like your investments have given you just 5,000 rupees more, whereas you have got invested almost for two, two years plus in the market now. I was like still uh, reluctant and I wanted to stay in the market. I wanted to stay grounded here. I don't want it to break this and come off. So I remained there. Again, my investment was uh, 161. The next month view also went. However, my growth started exponentially growing up. You could see here it turned up 177 and it turned up to 195 and there on. So if you happen to notice here, the cycle went on. I kept investing the same units again and again and the results were like showing up really huge. So it happened to a point like at the end of the 2021 financial year, if you notice here that uh, uh, during the uh, March 2021, you could see here my investment was almost uh, 186,000. The returns were like 235,000. So this was like the growth which I had got during that time. And this went on again. I did not break the cycle. The market was like uh, really uh, booming up during this time. So it went on again crazily. And uh, this uh, cycle kept increasing up or my wealth was getting compounded here. And you could see here almost uh, about a lack of profit was here during the 2022 uh, February. So that financial year I was able to keep up here, here is like uh, 260 and my returns were like 350. So almost I was able to like uh, get up a lack and more of profits. So almost 50% of growth was here seen. Again in 2022 again um, the market was like uh, consolidating. There was more of like an ups and downs happening in the market. It was not bullish, it was not bearish, it was like still on a uh, consolidation phase. So that's when you could see here that uh, the growth were like growing little slow, but there was growth happening in the market. So I remained to stay put in the market and you could see here that it kept increasing again. So 2022 as well. So it kept increasing again and again. So my investments never stopped. I stick to my uh, SAP journey. I kept investing on that and you could see the results here showing up. And um, by the end of, um, 2023 March you could see here my investment was like 3 lakh 30 thousand almost and my profits were over 4 lakh 50 thousand so I was able to break up my uh, investment like um, my inv the invested value like 330 I was able to reap up profit more than that as well again then it went on like this financial year of 2023 it started up and it went on and I've got this report still 20 uh, till the uh, December of 2023 you could see here that like my investment was like 3 lakh 83 thousand and the result is like 7 lakh plus. So if I plotted this in a chart and it does not show like your uh, uh, normal SAP chart here, you could see that like normally SAP chart shown online or by people in uh, different uh, social media platforms always shows you an exponential curve, but that's not how an SAP works. So this functions exactly how the market behaves. So if you happen to plot it with your Nifty index, so this I have plotted with my investment along with the growth which I have acquired. So earlier in the initial phase, before even the COVID rally started, 2028 was the time where the market was like falling. There was like a little bit of consolidation happening and stuff. And 2029 happened where the market was on a free fall. You could see a dip here in this place. That's the March 2020 results. And there I was able to acquire more and more. So this phase I was able to acquire a lot. 
So this is one of the crucial phase. If you had a lump sum option, you could have invested during this time. You could have uh, gathered up a lot of profit. And after that, you could see here that during this phase, I was able to break the market. During October 20, I was able to uh, make a profits over my investments. And here after that, you would be able to see that my returns started like growing up really exponentially. And you could see here that this is the uh, 2022 where there was the consolidation phase happening. And you could see a lot of ups and downs happening. But the end journey, what I'm trying to say here is the end journey is always going to be like really good. And you will be able to cap in like benefits or rip in benefits in according to your uh, plan or your uh, mutual fund that you have chosen. So on an average, your Nifty would definitely give you a 10 to 15% of results. It's been like tried and tested for over 20 years now. So you can try this definitely. So never uh, break your SAP journey. So if I happen to plot this on a sheet, you could see here that almost uh, 3 lakh 80,000 is my investment and this is going to be my profit. I've got almost 92% of uh, my uh, returns, like whatever it's like ROI I've got. So if I happen to take divide for the past five years, I'm getting a CAGR of almost 18% almost. So 18% is like a really good uh, uh, number, I would say during your uh, uh, this market bullish run or bearish run, whatever it is. So I have tested myself during the uh, peak COVID times as well as during the bullish run as well. So my advice to all of you here is like try ticking to your um, SAP policy, whatever plan you have chosen. Always try with go with index funds so that you are free or like uh, uh, stay risk free even during market falls or during crash because Nifty will never uh, let you uh, down. And the main important thing that you need to do is like uh, stick to the market. Patience is the key. Stock market pays everyone, but patience is the key. Remain put in the market, stay for a longer period of time. So over a horizon of time, this is definitely going to like explode. Even this fun thing which I'm doing now, 6,000 for almost five years now, I'm gonna continue this for another five years and see how it's gonna perform. So I'll keep on sending updates on this video where I'll show you my results or what is going to my performance after next year or the couple of years and I'll show you my screenshots as well. So you can get an idea of how an SAP functions and how this is all working out. So I wish you all the best and I want every one of you to join in this journey. I'm leaving my link in the description below. You can sign up using my coupon code so you'll get a discount on your uh, um, equity purchases or in your FNO purchases as well. And uh, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, do share it with your friends and do smack the like button as well. I'll catch you up in the next one. Thank you.